everybody, Jeanette Womble back again. As you can tell, I'm at a local marina because today I wanted to help out with anyone who might have a question regarding where can I put my boat on Lake Murray year round. So the purpose of this video is gonna to be to share with you some different marinas. This is one of two. My second video is gonna cover the south side of the lake. The one today we're gonna to cover the north side of the lake. So stay tuned and you can learn more about different options for your boat year round on beautiful Lake Murray. So Dreher Island State Park has a great marina and I can tell you from personal experience, the slip behind me has some history with me. This is where my boat used to be. Until one day I got a call from the ranger when he said, ma'am, you need to come out to the marina because your boat is sinking. And lo and behold, something happened with my boat where it was taking on water, my bilge pump wasn't working, and had they not called me, it would be at the bottom of the lake right there. So I can tell you from personal experience, Jur Island Marina is great because you know that someone's always going to be looking over your boat and it's a lovely setting. Around us we've got some campsites, some boat ramps, and they even do some fishing tournaments from here. So I definitely recommend this marina as a wonderful location to put your boat if it suits your drive time from wherever you're living in the north side of Lake Murray. Marina, which is in the Irmo Chapin side of the lake. The wonderful thing about Lighthouse is there is covered slips and they also have dry storage. So there's a huge two-story steel building over here and if you want to have your boat pulled out, whether it be during the warm season or the colder months, that's an option here as well. In addition, there is a great restaurant right next to me called Rusty Anchor or Catfish Johnny's. Catfish Johnny's is outside. They have um, live music and great food in the summertime. Lots of people pull their boats up here just to be able to hang out and enjoy the entertainment. If you prefer air conditioning, there is also indoor dining here too. So Lighthouse Marina puts you a little closer to Irmo, gives you covered and dry storage. So if those are important to you, you definitely want to check it out. So the last marina on this part of the lake that I'm featuring is called Lake Murray Marina and it is probably the closest you're going to get to Columbia on this side of the lake. It features covered boat storage behind me. It's also got uh, several slips out to my right which I'll show you when I pan around of additional slips for both large and small boats. As a matter of fact, at the very end, there are some houseboats here. And if I don't blow away before I'm done with this, um, I'll pan out and also show you Liberty on the Lake. It's a lovely restaurant that has marina front dining and it has an upper and lower deck so you can watch the sunset. And there's also an apartment community here as well. So if you're looking to move to the area and you wanna just enjoy lakeside living and have a fabulous place to rent and be able to put your boat at a slip right at your back door, this is a great spot to choose to put your boat as well. So I hope that this information was helpful for you today. Definitely very windy here on the lake. However, uh, we were able to show you some great highlights. As I was saying, hopefully you had some great highlights. I changed spots, so maybe the fence behind me will stop me from blowing into the lake. Um, but I will put links to all the different marinas at the end of this video. Um, I'm Jeanette Womble, a local agent here, and if I can help you with anything real estate related or lake related, um, answer any kind of local insight for you, please uh, reach out to me. You'll find my information at the end of the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.